The role-playing game saw a resurgence after the new season of the television series Stranger Things. In an unfinished large basement in Calgary, surrounded by washing machines, wrapped storage shelves and low lamp lamp, Becky Salmon sets the evening match. Five players are sitting around a large table scattered with paper, pens and an electronic game tray, with a colored carpet under them. Salmon guarantees that each person has dice, miniatures and a finished character sheet, all important components for a successful Dungeons & Dragons game. Pizza and beer are not hurt either. After examining the rules, Salmond begins to describe the scene. We start our adventure in the warmth of the Bamer Portal Inn. Five improbable friends are found, as we say, in the right place at the wrong time, she said. It lasts a few minutes. Sometimes the players let out ooze and ass on the details of their new world. Scenes like this take place more and more often, because the role-playing of 1974 sees a resurgence of popularity. Becky Salmon started playing D&D only a few years ago, but she has loved role-playing games for about 20 years. Players and fans of the game indicate several reasons why. A fifth more exciting and inclusive addition, a desire for connection after the pandemic, and a main role in the popular television series Stranger Things. The main characters of the show are often seen playing the game. People heard more about it, but I think there are tools, especially practically, which have been really well developed in recent years. It's a little more accessible, said Salmond. What I like about D&D is creativity. I love being able to improve scenarios and exploring scenarios and characters, and my other favorite part would probably be laughter. Gordon Johansson, owner of the Sentry Box, a Calgary game store, says that the game itself has also become more inclusive. He has been working in the industry for 42 years, and in his opinion, more women than ever play D&D. The fifth edition has come back to the roots, has really underlined the aspect of the narration and the role-playing game, he said. They simplified certain things, which made women much more attractive, who just didn't want to play the old super competitive group. Heidi Peterson, an art therapist, has just started playing Dungeons & Dragons in recent months. Some friends invited Heidi Peterson to play.